This story, Heather, you found, and it's uh, I just, you know, it's just something, uh, something fun else. to talk about today. Is your picture. dog <laughs> is your dog bilingual? From our Budapest <laughs> bureau. Heather, a brain researcher. Look at this image. So the brain researcher, she has her own dogs, and she had moved from Mexico, right, mm -hmm. to um, to, to Budapest, to Hungary. Yeah, right. and there she goes. She puts her dogs in an MRI As machine. As you would. She yeah. uh, reads them a, and she does it. She does this with 22 different dogs, including her own dogs, and they get read a story in Spanish, and then they get a read a story in Hungarian okay. and then they look at their brain waves and anything see. happening right yeah is it different what's going on yeah it's different <laughs> it's different so it, the Dane brain waves are different with the familiar language versus what happens with the unfamiliar language which lead them to believe that dogs you know mm. can understand or maybe can't fully understand. <laughs> who knows just, what? I mean, the dogs can't tell us. Who really knows what it all means? I just think it, see this it's poor so dog funny. in MRI. Like, just how do they get the out. dog in there? The, right? Like, yeah, I mean, the dog. I mean, it, these are some good dogs. Yeah. You have to say super, super still. Isn't that what they tell you when you go in there? Yeah, these so, are these are good yeah. dogs, Shayla. I mean, I can't imagine yeah. trying Maybe to cram a dog in an MRI machine. <laughs> I yeah. can't either. I wouldn't want to be crammed in one if I didn't have to be. So <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, imagine. I, I can't imagine a dog wants yeah, to be in exactly. there. So now, I did. I did think it was interesting, though. They said they found that the older dogs uh, showed bigger differences in brain activity between the the languages, possibly because the older dogs had a chance to be exposed to mm -hmm. human language um, for more time, sure. like yeah. you know, a longer period of time. So mm -hmm. maybe some advantages is, there with age. It is interesting, <laughs> though, because I have a, a family friend that has um, a dog and they are bilingual. They speak Spanish and English in the house. And this happened, I guess it was probably about a year. It was, it's was. it been a while, a year ago or something, where they, I was like, does, does he understand? And they said, sure. And then they said something in Spanish. And the dog reacted the same exact way that they did in English. So I guess if they just hear it, you right. know. What I think is funny about all this is that the brain researcher. Everything, everything is yeah, funny about this. Yeah, that she just said, you know what? I'm going to put my dog in here. Yeah. Like, I have access to one of these things. Let me do it. I mean, from from like the higher level perspective, like it is intriguing that if dogs, if this is true, and this is a small study, and who knows, but if this is true, like the fact that a non-human is able to tell a difference between language patterns. You know, like we think that dogs, you know, do they understand the words or do they understand the, the intonation? Yeah. Right. But if indeed there's different brain activity to different languages, that's, you know, yeah. worth more yeah. study. It's, it's yeah. interesting. Put some more dogs sure. in the MRI machine and yeah. let's learn and some more them, stuff. They, they were read the little prints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so weird. Just tell put right. my schnauzers in there. They would probably wouldn't right. like it too oh. much. Riley, we've seconds. solved all the problems in the world. This is what researchers yeah. are working on. Done, I guess. Done, right.